much I like to do with the hairs on top of my head other than blow dry. Yeah, I said hairs, but I use the plural form very lightly, okay? There's like three strands left up here, dog. <laughs> this morning I went to go style my hair, and yeah, I do that from time to time, only to find out that my hair dryer broke. You know, it was a really sad day. You know, no matter what a hair dryer looks like, they all serve the same purpose. And that purpose is to get your hair dry, which is a little confusing, seeing as though the first thing you do with a hair dryer is turn it on. <laughs> you know what? My mind is very deep in a gutter somewhere. How do we tell what a good hair dryer is from a bad one? Like, I see the prices, but that means nothing to me. Well, it means something to my bank account, but it doesn't mean anything to me about, you know, how good the product is. Like, this thing's, this thing's long. I'm assuming that's for accuracy. <laughs> Where this one, I, I feel like it's just like an overall type of dry. I feel like this one, it's pink, it's cute, but I don't know how I would, but I know that thing would get dirty in like two seconds. Right here is $295. Yeah, $295. This one is a hefty $34. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate this though, because it's very straightforward. The features, fast drying. This one has moisturizing heat, which is, I'm, I had to think about that one for a second. Just, you know, it sounds fun, but I don't have that much hair on top of my head to make that worthwhile. <laughs> you know how many times I could go down a cookie aisle for $300? <laughs> a lot. I think we're gonna go with the slightly cheaper one. You know, it, it gets the job done at the end of the day.